All right, so another day on the 70 Boss. I'm working on the front end, the cowl area. I jumped a little bit ahead and I took off the inner cowl side panels. Um, you can see I was gonna replace half of it, um, but I figured while I'm here, I might as well just expose all of this so I can get in here good, clean up all that surface rust, and then shoot it with a couple coats of primer. Um, so it'll be just better in the end, and then I have the full panel on that inside. I'm reusing the outer cal side panel um, and the A-pillar. All that stuff is actually really good shape on both sides. So that's what I'm gonna do now is clean that up, paint that, and grind down the spot welds that are left over and any kind of metal that's left over from taking that stuff off. And then there are the new ones. I gotta prep them and then I'll stick them in place, weld them, and then I'll be ready for the lower cowl.
it's the end of the day. I did get everything that I wanted done. I have those inner cow side panels, as you saw, welded. Um, and I also uh, paint the back side of them before they're welded on, so it's coated in there really well. Um, <clears throat> the firewall is just uh, clamped into place just to line up, help line up that lower cow because I am going to have to trim the firewall to adjust for that body drop that I did. So that'll come back out, but I'm going to leave it in there for now because I'm also going to work on aligning the upper cow panel. To line all three together, I'll make my cut next. That'll be in the next video. I'll make my cut on the firewall where I believe I need to make it. I'll weld that portion in place and then I'll weld the upper cowl on and then I'm going to weld in the fender extension brackets. Um, so that whole front end structure here is done and then I'll start working backwards. Most likely I'll hang the doors to line up to be able to do the B pillars and then we'll go from there. But you could see I also coat this lower cow panel while it's fully exposed to make it nice and then seam seal those top hats. Well, on 6970, there's just a one here on the passenger side. And I also run a little bit of seam sealer over where I welded, just in case there's some pinholes. So uh, the water's just not sitting in that pinhole. And I did that on both sides. But that's gonna be it for this video. Moving along, everything's looking real good on the boss. Thanks for watching this video and all the other ones. Um, hit the subscribe button and look forward to the next video which will be posted in a couple days so we'll see you in that one